A Venn diagram groups different sets of items and is used to show how items are related to each other. The area inside the circular shape shows the outcomes included in an event, and the area outside the circle represents the outcomes not in the event. The rectangle drawn around the circles shows all the outcomes contained in the sample space. Example 1. Using a Venn diagram to determine probability. There are 230 learners in grade 12 at Takalani High School. Of the 230 learners, 90 take life sciences, 116 take maths, and 64 take accounting as exam subjects. Question 1. Determine how many learners take life sciences and maths. Question 2. Determine the probability correct to two decimal places that firstly, a randomly selected learner takes maths only, and secondly, that a randomly selected learner takes maths and accounting but not life sciences. For part one, we can represent the given information in a Venn diagram, with L for life sciences, M for maths, and A for accounting. The rectangle around the circles represents all the learners in grade 12 in Takalani High School. The Venn diagram shows the information we know so far. We're also told that 26 learners take maths and accounting, 22 take life sciences and accounting, 14 learners take all three subjects, 15 learners do not take any of these three subjects. Start off with the last point. We are told that 15 learners don't take any of these three subjects, so fill this in first. Write it in the area outside the three circles. Next, put in the intersection of all three, that is, 14 learners take all three subjects. Write the 14 in the area where all three circles overlap or intersect. Then we are told that 22 learners take life sciences and accounting. We already have 14 marked in. Since 14 plus 8 equals the required 22 learners, mark in 8 on the intersection between life sciences and accounting only. And we are told that 26 learners take maths and accounting. We already have 14 marked in. So mark in 12 since 14 plus 12 equals the required 26 learners on the intersection between maths and accounting. We are not told how many learners take both maths and life sciences, although we know that 14 learners take maths, life sciences and accounting. So let the number of learners who take maths and life sciences only be x. We are told that 64 learners take accounting. To calculate the number that still needs to go into the set A, we calculate 64 minus 12 minus 14 minus 8, which is equal to 30. So 30 learners take accounting only. We are told that 116 learners take maths. To calculate the missing number in set M, we calculate 116 minus 12 minus 14 minus X, which gives us 90 minus X. So 90 minus X learners take maths only. We are told that 90 learners take life sciences. To calculate the missing number in set L, we calculate 90 minus 8 minus 14 minus X, which gives us 68 minus X. So 68 minus X learners take life sciences only. The Venn diagram is now completely filled in, and we can proceed to calculate the value of X. We know that there are 230 learners in grade 12 in Takalani High.
So adding all the individual numbers together in the Venn diagram should give us the total of 230. Remember to include the 15 outside the circles in your equation. We get the equation 30 plus 8 plus 14 plus 12 plus 90 minus x in brackets plus x plus 68 minus x in brackets plus 15 equals 230. Adding like terms, we get 237 minus x equals 230. Solving for x gives x equals 7. Now the Venn diagram can be completed by substituting the value of x equal to 7. The Venn diagram now looks like this. To answer question 1, we note that the number of learners who take life sciences and maths is 14 plus x. Since we have solved x to be equal to 7, we get 14 plus 7, which gives 21 learners. For question 2, we must now determine the probability, correct to two decimal places, that a randomly selected learner a. Only takes maths. And B. Takes maths and accounting but not life sciences. To determine the probability that a randomly selected learner only takes maths, we need to know the number of learners who only take maths as well as the total number of grade 12 learners. The number of learners who only take maths is 90 minus x, which gives us 90 minus 7, or 83. The total number of learners equals 230. So, the probability that a randomly selected learner takes maths only is equal to 83 divided by 230, which equals 0, 0,36, correct to two decimal places. To determine the probability that a randomly selected learner takes maths and accounting, but not life sciences, look at the number in the intersection between maths and accounting, but exclude learners who take life sciences as well. From the Venn diagram, we can see that 12 learners take maths and accounting, but not life sciences. So the probability that a randomly selected learner takes maths and accounting but not life sciences is equal to 12 divided by the total of 230. This gives us a probability of 0, 0,05 correct to two decimal places.